Hi, my name's John Binky and I run Captivate Photography, which is in the Highlands of Scotland, mainly shooting weddings, portraits and commercial photography. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a particular style of wedding photography called, uh, known as reportage photography, um, sometimes known as photojournalism, because you're acting like a, a journalist documenting an event. Reportage photography has become a bit of a buzzword in the industry in recent years and lots of people are claiming to be reportage photographers or photojournalist photographers. So, we need to find out a little bit more about what these things are. So what is a photojournalist or a PJ photographer? So, reportage photography, photojournalism, PJ photography, call it what you will. What exactly is it? Well, there's two different styles of, of PJ shooting as far as I can see. There's, there's a small percentage of people who actually go out and they, they will spend all day shooting a wedding without any direction or control of events. Personally, it's not for me. I find it very, very difficult to, to shoot an entire day that way. I shoot maybe 75% of my day uh, that way, but there are bits where you have to get involved and, and take control. Um, lighting might not be right and poses might be slightly unflattering to people. And this is a big thing with photojournalist photography, is that you have no control over somebody's posture or, or how they're standing. or All these things you need to sometimes get in and, and get involved, even if you're then stepping back and shooting it naturally afterwards. The second type of PJ photographer, which seems to be becoming really popular, is slightly different to the first one. To be a PJ photographer nowadays, you need to have a following kind of kit. You need to have a nice big camera that looks impressive. It needs to be bigger than Uncle Bob's, ideally. You need a, a quite a short lens. I suggest a 50mm 1.4 so you can get really close to people in crowds so they don't know you're there. Another important accessory is a flash gun. If you're going to be a fly on the wall and be discreet and capture moments, you really need light. So you need a powerful flash gun. So you need to you need to invest in, in, in a good quality flash gun. I've got a Canon 580 speed light, uh, which is really good for capturing natural moments. The other important part of the kit, of course, is the uniform. These are, there's no rules to what colours you can wear. I particularly like Paisley pattern myself from my PJs. The only important thing you have to remember with these is to make sure that the buttons are tied because it, I think everyone knows that it's one problem with flash and, and PJ shooters you've got to make sure it's the right bit that's flashing. Um, so that's basically a second type of PJ shooter and I think it, it, it's probably the way forward at the moment in the industry. It seems to be the chosen route for, for, for many photographers and it's certainly something that I'm embracing at the moment and uh, certainly causing a stir in the industry.